What's going on, family? I'm back at it again, taking some time out for my Uber drives uh, to make this video. I had to do it. I got the notification across my phone that lets me know that Tony Romo is injured again. Out six to ten weeks. That's six to ten games, actually. But you know what? It's still preseason. Still preseason. Um, so he might miss. Let's say he misses four games. Because I think uh, the season starts in about two weeks. About two Sundays from now. The minimum he'll miss is four. But the most he'll miss is eight. That's a lot of games, bro. Like, he's not dependable. Let's face it. Cowboy fans, if you want to jump off the bandwagon and find yourself another team, I don't think nobody will be mad at you. We can't keep talking about the Cowboys Super Bowl from 20 years ago. If that might have been 30. Might have been 30 years ago since the Cowboys won. I'm, I, I'm over-exaggerating, but it seems that way. You know? Back when the rings were made of gold, now everybody get like these white gold rings, these platinum rings. Cowboys had yellow rings, gold, <laughs> gold rings. But this is like, bro, he's unreliable. Unreliable. It's not there for you in the playoff. Like it didn't, it, it always seems to be his back, his collarbone, his back. I don't like, I'm not a Cowboys fan. Never will be a Cowboys fan. But man, I'm like, Tony Romo, he's injured again. So what do we do? Who's the backup quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys? Then this affects fantasy owners. Because now you got to drop Dez Bryant. Y'all saw what happened last year. He's not going to get the um, touches. He's not going to get the looks that he gets when Romo um, is the quarterback. So now we got to take Dez Bryant off our fantasy team. You got to drop Tony Romo off your fantasy team. Please do it. Don't wait till he... If you think he's going to come back and save your fantasy team where you're going to keep him on the bench till he comes back, I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that. Get rid of Dez Bryant. Pick up somebody else. Or find you an idiot. Trade Dez Bryant. Somebody who don't know what's going on for a decent back. Tell him you need a, tell him you need a running back. Listen, man. I got too many wide receivers. I'll give up Dez Bryant. Give me your number two running back. I think an idiot would take that. It just goes downhill, man. So now the NFC East is up for grabs again. But I always say the Giants do good every four years. This might be the Giants season anyway. Victor Cruz is back. Odell Beckham, regardless of what he's doing in the jacuzzi or with, with a bunch of men, he's still like one of the top receivers in the league. And, um... The Giants, go, like they, they just do good like every four to five years. This is what they do. They suck after they win a Super Bowl for like two, three, four years. And then the next season, they win like eight games, <laughs> wind up winning, winning the division. And then boom, Super Bowl and they win. Cowboy fans, y'all got to be sick to your stomach right now. Got to be sick to your stomach, man. I, I, don't even, I don't even know what else to say to y'all, man. Get well soon, Cowboy fans. Check your fantasy team. Get rid of Des Bryant. Get rid of the tight end. Whoever the tight end is, is is Wit is Witten still a tight end for the Cowboys? Get rid of Witten. Get rid of Tony Romo. Drop them. Drop them all. I feel bad for that rookie. What's his name? Ezekiel. Don't get me the line. I don't know him. I just know he wear crop shirts. He like to walk around with his belly out and his stomach showing. Now where they do that at? Since when? No. You get rid of the Cowboys just for that. They got a quarterback who like to wear his... Whatever, man. Tony Romo out six to ten weeks, man. <laughs> hey, man. Subscribe to the page, man. Subscribe. Like this video. Um, like this video. Subscribe. Um, subscribe to us on iTunes. The Podcast Brothers. And, um, yeah, I'm out, man.